I'm excited for this video because I'll be interviewing and featuring the first and the only woman World Robot Olympiad Ambassador. I'm now with the president and CEO of Felta Multimedia Incorporated, the champion of the geeks. Miss Mylene Romuald is a Viva. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm very good, yes, and um, welcome to my humble abode, my <laughs> humble home, yes. Felta Multimedia Incorporated has been existing for 56 years now. Tell us more about Felta. Yes, I'm a child of owner in Tagalog, anak ng may ari. Anak ng may ari. Yes. <laughs> It was founded in 1966 by my parents, my late father, uh, who passed away about 13 years ago. Founded FELTA, which stands for FELTA is Felicito Teresita. In the 1960s, it was mm -hmm. still uh, that you know the time where they merged the names, and um, it is really it started as a um, importer of books, mm -hmm. imported books, uh, full colored books. We were the ones who brought in Mills and Boons for the girls out there who read those love stories, Reader's Digest, and that's how we started. Mm -hmm. However, my uh, late father's family, Abiva well, family, has always been in the publishing industry. But uh, with Felta Multimedia, we now have this motto which we modernize education. Mm -hmm. And from 1966 then on, we were able to introduce the audiovisual equipment and materials like slides, full color slides, film strips, transparencies. Some of you may have uh, encountered that. And also, uh, we are into robotics and we manufacture our own computer laptops, mm -hmm. our uh, two-in-ones and tablets. We're an OEM of Intel Education. And you mentioned itong word na robotics. Yeah. Okay, I've seen robots before, only in the movies, pero. Voltes 5, I don't know if you know Trans Mazinger Z. Mazinger Z and Transformers. Oh, diba? Yes. Oh, I don't yeah. know kung nakaka-relate yung mga iba dyan, mga <laughs> young people. And the first time that nagkaroon ako ng up-close and personal encounter with a robot was when um, this first humanoid robot ng Honda mm -hmm. brought to the Asimo. Philippines. Asimo. Asimo. So you know Asimo. I, yes, that's Asimo, yes. You yes. know the voice Behind that Asimo, that's Ken. Si Ken. Really? That was the first humanoid robot ng Honda that was brought to the Philippines from Japan. And Asimo traveled all over the Philippines. Yes. Ang robotics program is hindi mahirap na i-collaborate yan with the schools here in Metro Manila. But how about yung mga nasa probinsya, Parla. yung mga nasa remote areas, mm -hmm. mga schools in the provinces? Yes. Paano nyo naaabot yung mga mm -hmm. schools at mga estudyante? During the um, pre-COVID, we had to go to school caravans. Talagang pumupunta kami. Mm -hmm. From Luzon up to Mindanao, we have our, mm -hmm. our representatives, we call them franchise business operators. And I myself go to mm -hmm. the schools because I always believe that you cannot lead a company, especially in education, kung hindi mo alam yung pulso at mga yeah. requirements ng mga, mga kabataan. So that's mm -hmm. what I do. And to train the teachers mm -hmm. all over the Philippines, oh. the teacher should be your champions of technology. Because mm -hmm. you have to encourage first the educators, mm -hmm. and then they will now follow with the with the learner. Now with the COVID, the, the pandemic come, going on, we still continue to train, and mm -hmm. we did remote learning, tra teacher mm -hmm. training, mm -hmm. because again we need to to transition the teachers mm -hmm. from the physical uh, way of teaching to mm -hmm. the. Um, digital platforms or remote learning. We continue to do this as a service. We do it the webinars for free. We do the trainings for free. Actually, the challenge na nakikita natin is paano kung walang kuryente, right? True, true. Pag walang kuryente, walang technology. So we're now working very closely with the local government units and even the ICT in providing a um, common public area where mm -hmm. students can can have access to the internet mm -hmm. and uh, they can learn mm -hmm. and for the devices that we manufacture it's shockproof and water resistant so mm -hmm. pwede siyang isabak sa sa yeah. mga outdoors uh -huh. uh, outdoor areas and what we call non-grid schools mm -hmm. non-grid schools are those that are powered by solar uh -huh. and then they get energy and that's how they get the device uh -huh. very very mm -hmm. interesting so sa education yan mm -hmm. but 
ang technology kasi also caters sa mga manufacturing. Our industry, service contracting, mm -hmm. heavily depends on human labor. Yes. All right. We deploy people to companies to perform tasks and jobs mm -hmm. with technological advancements. Ano pa ba? Uh, increasing automation with the rise of smart factories mm -hmm. under uh, Industry 4.0. Do you think yung aming industriya <laughs> or this technology would render us obsolete in the near future? Okay, let's put it this way. Menial jobs like if you're in a manufacturer, your automotive industry, if you're just the one doing the balls, the robots can do that. Mm -hmm. Robots can also do very um, dangerous tasks, uh, mm -hmm. which humans, uh, it, it actually saves human lives. The robots will not, and I told this to media many, many times, it, they will, we will not make humans obsolete. The future of workforce will evolve. So I ask that we have our um, companies like yourselves who are you know, into manpower to always continue to upskill. Well, they need to innovate. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Kasi kapag nga walang innovation, ma e -E one mm -hmm. Ang walang robots, we don't have empathy. We, we don't have also the, uh, the nurturing uh, aspects. Walang mm -hmm. human, you know, touch. Touch, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Ang robots kasi, they don't complain. Walang chismis. Walang chismis. <laughs> Wala. <laughs> Pero may break. Yeah. Kuminsan, they, ah, may break, they break yeah. Pero walang extended break. Uh -oh. <laughs> they always on time. So, yun naman ang advantage kapag mm -hmm. robots. Mm -hmm. Pero, uh, cheaper pa rin ang when you hire people. Yes. Right. Well, right now, true. Uh, however, let's remember that, as I said, technology is going to be different in the yes, next, yes. what, three, five years. So we should not always look at the cost factor as the only mm -mm. feature of True. humans. Mm -mm. That's why we have to emphasize in upskilling our workforce. Mm. So you mga employees, all workers, need to reskill and mm. upskill. Yes. You have a very long list <laughs> of awards and achievements. And just to name a few, okay? A few. Entrepreneur of the Year finalist in 2009, founding member Ernst & Young Global Women Business Advisory Council, Gawad Leader for Science and Technology Awardee sa DOST in 2009, ASEAN Business Awardee in 2014 on Women Leadership, ASEAN Business Awardee in 2014 also in Women Leadership, an active angelpreneur of Go Negosyo Movement since 2005, President ng Women Business Council of the Philippines in 2020 until 2022. Oh, that would be until next year. And then former President of the Philippine Marketing Association in 2009, ASEAN uh, Woman Entrepreneur Awardee in 2015, 100 Most Influential Filipino Women in the World, in the World Puyan in 2016, Asia CEO Awards Most Innovative Company in 2017, World Robot Olympiad Ambassador since 2018, UN Women Empowerment Principles Awards First Runner-Up Leadership Commitment, Second runner-up, Gender Responsive Marketplace in 2020 and Asia's Top Women Marketer of the Year in 2020. Napakahabang listahan po yan. You have accomplished a lot <laughs> and very successful. Is there anything else that you want to achieve? Well, if there's one thing that I'd like to achieve really is to bridge the gap between education and industry. And uh, this vision of mine has been in my mind for 21 years since ever since I started the robotics program in the Philippines. Because education is a valuable enabler. But does it, does it jive or does it align with industry? Uh, the graduates that we should churn out, speci specifically in the STEM track or the STEM program, are they relevant? So right now, the inventions of the robotics team i want i want that's my wish list is i want someone from my robotics team to invent a solution that is now going to be used in the household in the industry and we're now working very closely with government in fact yesterday we are happy to say that some of the inventions of the robotics team can now be patented mm -hmm. and will now be shown to joint um, to uh, joint venture capitalists for 
hopefully for mass production. So that is my uh, immediate goal. <laughs> sa mga viewers ng negosyente, saan ka pwedeng makontak? Or if they want to know more about Felta, how can they get in touch with you? Yes, if you would like to reach out for um, for more information about our programs with robotics or probably some of our offerings of our product offerings, please email Felta Multimedia Inc. Inc. at gmail.com. Please also log in to www.felta.ph for more information. From Felta Multimedia Incorporated, Ms. Mylene Romualdez Aviva. Thank you, Techies Rock. She's not a robot, okay? She's not, not a, a robot. robot. <laughs>